Right, there are new details in the investigation into who set the fire at the Wendy's on University Avenue Saturday, the day after Brooks was shot and killed there. Investigators now say they are looking for two persons of interest. They released new photos of a woman calling her a new person of interest in the case. We want to be clear. Investigators think this is a different woman from the one in photos they released over the weekend. Those photos show another woman who has her face mostly covered. Again, investigators think these are two different women, but they want to talk to both. We have multiple suspects at this time. We've only got quality photos of two at this time. The fire was started in multiple locations using multiple different incendiary devices, um, from homemade blow torches to fireworks to on-scene combustibles that were just lit and thrown inside the store. Investigators say they are not yet sure if the people responsible are tied to a larger group. Crime Stoppers and Georgia Arson Control are both offering a reward up to $10,000 for information that leads to an arrest. Wendy's corporate office says it is dedicated to helping workers who lost their jobs because of the fire. In a memo to employees, the company says it will continue to pay those workers and give them jobs at other locations nearby so they don't have to suffer any financial loss. The company also said it will continue to, to support change through social justice, youth and education experts.